Hi, I'm Dr. Paul Salinas from Park Avenue Spine. And I'm Liz Barnett from LizBarnett.com. And today Liz and I will be discussing piriformis syndrome and demonstrating some excellent stretches to help reduce some of the symptoms associated with the syndrome. The piriformis muscle is a muscle that's located in the pelvis, actually the posterior part of the pelvis, the gluteal region, and it sits right on top of the sciatic nerve and can cause irritating pain radiating down into the leg. It must be differentiated from uh, the symptom called sciatica, so you need to see a medical professional before diagnosing yourself with this condition. So Liz and I are going to show you some real simple stretches that should be done in the pain-free range of motion. Uh, you're going to feel some discomfort in a stretching type discomfort, but you shouldn't feel any sharp pain associated with the stretches. All right, Liz, so let's show the figure four stretch first. Now what Liz is doing is she's bringing her leg across her knee, okay, and she's immediately going to feel a stretch on the outside leg here. The piriformis muscle is located in this region here. Now, this alone may give you some stretching type relief. If you want to make it a little bit more difficult, you pull your thigh closer towards your chest, and you're going to try to hold that stretch for about 10 to 15 seconds at a time, and that should give you some relief. You can hold it a little bit longer if you can tolerate it, but you shouldn't go beyond 30 seconds. Something to think about here, you want to keep your knee from coming all the way into your body because that will uh, take away from the stretch. So try to keep your knee slightly outward, and if you feel any pain, you can uh, flex your foot a little bit. And a second deviation to the stretch is uh, a sit-up version of the stretch. So same leg, cross it in front of you. Make sure you sit up really tall because you don't want to slump down into your lower back and just hug that knee toward you. You can twist a little bit toward the bent leg and you should again feel that stretch along the outside of the hip. And if your symptoms increase with this stretch, you start feeling numbness and tingling, radiating down your legs, or any dull, achy pain, you really need to stop this stretch and consult your professional.